yes so the next topic that we are going to discuss is uh, circular linked list so if you look at the diagram the first one is the diagram for single linked list that is each has node and each node has a two partition one partition is a data field another partition is address field and the data is a node each node is pointing to the neighboring node and it is goes like a, a train and the final node that is a tail node uh, whose address field is treated as null so if it is treated as null then it is a and uh, between each node if you have only one link then it is a single linked list if the tail node next address field is pointing to the first node that is head node if it is pointing to the first node that is head node then it is a circular linked list here also you can find everything similar to single linked list but the difference is the last node the tail node address field is pointing to the head node that is first node this is what singly linked circular linked list likewise the third diagram is one which uh, gives you the uh, diagrammatic representation of uh, doubly linked list um, it has uh, two links that connects the two nodes one link is forward link from one node to another node and another node link is previous link from that another node to one node right so in doing so or in order to uh, create two links between the nodes each node is uh, treated as a three partition the first partition is being the previous address field the mid partition is being the address field sorry data field the next uh, last partition is being the next address field so that is what the uh, idea of every node in a doubly linked list when the uh, next address field of the last node is point to the uh, first node as well as the previous address node of the first node is point to the last node see the previous address node the previous field is point to the last node the next address field is point to the head node so in that case that uh, link list is called as circular doubly linked list so this is what the idea we are going to discuss about. so here also you need to discuss the various operation so same thing and using diagrams it is very well easier to understand the using program it is very well easier to understand what is the thing that is going on because it is simply a pointer adjustment if you know c language and if you are comfortable with the c language then the code is very easier to follow see here what is insertion at the beginning see this is a linked list this is a linked list and this in that circular linked list single sentence this is treated as the last one this is treated as the first one in case if you want to add if you want to add then what is the result so 10 come here 10 come here see 10 come here and then the other nodes are going like this and it is connected as a hash and the insertion at the end insertion at the end insertion at the end so here this is the link list link list here the node 10 is uh, here the node is 10 here so when you attach the node 10 here when you attach the node 10 here so from 6 to 8 the link goes here from 8 to 10 the node goes here then from here to here there is the connection there is a connection so this is what the insertion at the end insertion so what is the pointer adjustment the last node address field is pointing to that no node so that means this link get erased this link get erased and the last node of the present uh, node that is attached is now am getting out getting out and is understood with the first node so this is what insertion of the piece. so that is after inserting the node how the pointer adjustment is see the major uh, headache in linked list is uh, insertion and deletion is very easier without any uh, memory wastage but uh, you have to worry about the pointer adjustment if the pointer adjustment is carried out effectively then uh, everything is very easier so this is the deletion at the beginning so this node you have to delete this node you have to delete so if you delete it see initially the header node we have is pointing to the first node address see address is 4800 now it is if it is a deleted if that is a deleted so now the what is the you know, first address field likewise a deletion at the end so n node is this one so if that is the deleted how that uh, last node will point it to see 
that is so like a derailing like a derailing in a train you are derailing a coach like a derailing so it has happened like uh, delisan at the beginning at a delisan that coach has been uh, detached from that uh, thing and accordingly the adjustment and the link has been uh, freshly established they likewise uh, double link list so you have to think about the pointers uh, insertion at the beginning insertion at the beginning uh, insertion at the end that is the end is this is the single link list uh, sir is a doubly circular link list containing two nodes 5 and 6 here what is added node 7 is added so when you once you add the node 7 so what is the thing so you have to make the adjustment see this pointer is deleted this is pointed to here and this pointer is as i said this is pointed in the backward direction and this is pointed to here and this is pointed to here right so that is what that is insertion at the end and this is. so you need to very careful in adjusting the point values in adjusting the point values. so that is a deletion is a deletion also you have the same thing so implementation of single circular link list um a single circular link list see here if you go to this is a header file and this is a self referential structure so here you have head next node head node and the current node this is the insert node at the first place if you want to insert the node so accordingly the header arrangements have been done link of key equal to key so after that if you head equal to none then based on that the head equal to link and the head up next equal to head the part adjustment has been made so this is the routine for uh, delete first delete first so you have to check whether the head up next equal to head or not so if there is the true then you have to make it uh, the head null and return the temporary link otherwise you have to make the head as head up next you know next and this is for printing the list new list and this is the main routine main routine so here what is inserted uh, in the first node 10 is inserted in the second node second 10 is inserted third 30 is inserted 1 40 56 those numbers are inserted so whenever insert first is calculated so this method is uh, called this method is called so accordingly the value is uh, added and then after the this is a deleted value see uh, you have to delete the first the first element you have to delete first so when you call the delete first the delete first method is called this method is called and that the element is deleted and uh, you have to uh, uh, what is that you have to print the list so we first insert 10 10 is inserted next again insert first 20 is inserted so that is a 20 is coming here 20 is coming here so 30 is coming here 30 is coming so likewise likewise you need to do the adjustment because everything the node is inserted at the first position so 56 40 1 30 20 this is order of the list and accordingly the element is also getting deleted so this is the implementation of single link list that is single circular link list and in the google classroom you can find uh, several uh, youtube resources and that youtube resources will give you the idea in how to implement single circular link list double circular link list uh, with respect to insertion deletion and various uh, cases of insertion and deletion operation i have given many web urls and from that you can find uh, and you can study more information from the implementation so what are the applications of uh, uh, link list you can see the computer science field So in computer science field, the link list see, being the pointer implementation of a list, being the pointer implementation of a list. So this can be used to implement other data structure like stack, queue, graph. So he, since it is a pointer, dynamic memory calculation is possible. So likewise, the directory of name, team members. See what are the application you have said about. Mm, say for example, uh, Swetha said about some example, real time example. So like that of data. So it is simply used to store the data. But uh, when compared with array, this is having more advantages because of dynamic memory allocation as well as the insertion and deletion doesn't waste any memory and it is very easy to. And in case of real world application, so image viewer application, that is you can always have back button and you always have front button. So when you click next, 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 it will go like like this. So wherever you have that browser, music player, so music player also you have next song, next song, next song, or previous song, so like that. So that these are all the uh, real world application where uh, you can find uh, application of linked list. And some problems may come um, in this uh, linked list. Uh, there, there are three kind of application you need to uh, deal with. Uh, one is uh, polynomial manipulation. So under this topic, what is given to you is a yeah, polynomial is given. A polynomial given given. So this is the first polynomial that is 5x square plus 4x1 plus 2x. 
plus 2 uh, 2x to the power z 2 second problem is yx square yx plus 5 so what you have to do is you have to create a list that is the exponent the coefficients should be in one part and the power should be in another part that is the address field so this is the general format coefficient is one part power is in another part address field so it is pointed to the next one so here you have coefficient and the address so next what is coefficient the something see if you have find any expression 4x means so this 4 is treated as coefficient this is treated as coefficient and here in this x you have power 1 right and this power 1 will gives rise to uh, this uh, the value here and here so now you have two list the given expression uh, that is first number as well as the second number is uh, created as a two list list one list two now what you have to do is polynomial manipulation addition you have to add two polynomial so you have to add the two polynomial so when you going to add polynomial you have to check the corresponding power if the powers are matching then the addition is simply adding the coefficient if the powers are not matching then you have to bring as it is hence this 5x square is brought as such the 5x square is brought as such right then the 5 4 1 plus 5 1 so it is, since it is the have uh, the equivalent power since it is having the equivalent power so what you can do is you can add and you can bring the 9 here and use the uh, one here right so like since it this also have you can say you can add this so this is the result so what is that so before adding two polynomial you have to check the power if both the expression has the same power then its coefficients can be added otherwise it can't be added so this is the logic behind the polynomial addition polynomial multiplication is a polynomial multiplication see what is the logic behind it see you have to multiply each polynomial see say for example this is one polynomial 3x square 5x1 you have to represent that 3x square 3 is a coefficient and 2 is the power likewise 5x1 5 is the coefficient and one is power and another one is 6 right so 6 is the coefficient x to the power 0 is the um, what is that uh, power likewise the second polynomial also it is mentioned here now what you have to do is you have to uh, multiply you have to multiply the polynomial while doing the multiplication you will simply multiply this polynomial with uh, this you have to take this one and you multiply all the things so that means 18 and the corresponding log powers has to be added powers has to be added x to the power 3 that is 2 plus 1 and 6 into 5 plus 6 into 5 30 yes here also power 1 and here also x square plus 6 36 and here x equal to 0 here x equal to 1 so 36 plus x to plus now you take this element 8 into 3 that means 24 24 here x equal to 0 that, that is 24 x square 24 x square now 8 into 5 so 5 x are uh, 40 Again, x one, x one, and six x are forty eight. Forty eight x two over zero. Now, what you got x two over zero? So, what you got? Eighteen x three is coming as a resultant list. Thirty x square, and you have one more x square that is twenty four x square. So, thirty plus twenty four x square will give us to fifty four x square, and thirty six x one and forty x one. So, will give us to seventy six x one, and uh, this is forty eight x not. That is forty eight x not coming. So, this is what the uh, entire process of problem. So it is simply the polynomial addition that you are studying in your uh, school mathematics. Only thing you have to put it in the box. Only thing you have to put it in the box. So how to put it in the box? While well, put it in the box as a node, as a node, the coefficient part will hold the first position. The power part will hold the second position, and accordingly it goes up, right? Next important application is uh, representation of very large uh, integer. So in general, it is accepted that. and yeah when you use a 16 bit computer when you used to a 16 bit computer so what you can do is you can uh, store number in this range when you go for 32 bit computer you can store the number in this range nowadays we have 64 bit computer even you can store the number bit beyond this range this range but there are certain numbers which is of very great uh, um, uh, length say for example uh, if you study any astronomy science the distance between sun and the earth the distance between jupiter and the earth like that kind of distance we want to measure it is it, it is represented in terms of light years 
right you know that from the school level you know that and that number will be of very large number maybe it goes up to 10 digit number or 15 digit number or 25 digit number something like that so if you want to represent those very large integer then a linked list will be a helpful one and what we have to do is so last to four bit you have to take the last to four bit you have to take and then you put it in the first node the second last bit is you have to take and you have to put it in the second one the third so you see you have to divide the numbers you have to partition the number into four bit each four digit each from the last and each four bit is stored in the corresponding node so you in case if the end part you will be end with only two node or one node, one digit or two digit or three digit you have to put it here and that is the treat as a again if there is no number beyond this or beside this then it is treated as a null node so this is what the objective work you are doing it right so what you have to do just it's a simple thing so you there is a number is given to you the number is uh, partitioned is a number in the as a four digit number from left to right from left to right sorry from right to left from right to left and that number is placed in the linked list from right uh, from left to right so the number linked list is from linked list is from left to right and if you read the number it is from a uh, right to left right to left so that is the idea here so that is the representation of very large integer and another problem is merging of two linked lists so you are given with the two lists so concatenation something like that right so you have two lists this is one list that is, this is another list so this list is data is one this list, list data is four this address points to the fourth node this address points to null and the first node data is five and its address points to the second node and its uh, data is two and its address points to null now if you want to concatenate what is concatenate you just you need to do the merging operation so what you have to do is uh, you have just uh, take the two data and attach in the last so, so so simple it is not a very complicated just to take the two data and attach in the last one so the combining the two list this is the code for combining the two list if you see the first two lines are header line and this is uh, usual line for creating a self referential structure and this is the display that is print print the node and this is concatenation simply speaking so we we just found so both the things should not be null if both the things should not be null first up to null you have to make the pointer after null of the first list a you have to add the uh, second concatenate that is you have to add the second one so if you look at the main so necessary uh, declaration has been done you need a previous node you need a node for a you need a, like that so in the mlog function the memory is allocated you have to check whether p equal to x is or not, not accordingly you will call the function and uh, did uh, everything so then what you have to do is you have to do the calculation according to that value so previous of next equal to p previous equal to p like that right so when you do that task ultimately what you can find is so first of all the entire uh, list the one list is entire list, one, the first list is entirely scanned and in the next position from that next position onwards the other list is uh, processed that is other list will get into the data and it is been processed to find the uh, data alone right so this is what uh, the merging of two lists is so in order to support uh, this uh, material uh, i invite uh, everyone the so you are maybe your regular students have already gone through these kind of websites uh, they there they find more important uh, material and more uh, animated material sometimes and you can easily understand the idea and you can go through the video recorded video once again if you have any doubt and uh, the material that i have posted the entire pp i have posted also so if you guys any doubt you can call me and so other way and apart from this website you can find this uh, youtube channel also so this youtube channel also very well uh, explained you the concept in the scratch level so this youtube lectures is also very full useful to you so i think uh, i close the uh, first unit uh, if you have any doubt and you can call me or you can uh, mail me uh, what is the thing that is required is you need to go through the slides and you need to update yourself right and you will be interacting with your uh, what is uh, your regular uh, english students because uh, with uh, i think 2 hours that time and here also to with the 4 hours i finished this first unit but when you talk about the regular students uh, it took almost 11 to 12 hours for each topic i have given the test i have assigned assessment and assignment and all so everything is in the google classroom i think you can uh, go and uh, refer the material 
and it is better you, uh, you can understand the idea i think so so let us close for the uh, first unit and with the lot with the short break we will be uh, start receiving for the second unit today right okay sir